think I finally got it. I know this has been a slow process and I appreciate you guys sticking with me on it, but I finally worked out most of what I felt were kinks, you know, just the fine details about this light and we're just about ready to go to production. I know some of you are thinking, so we waited another three weeks so you could shave a quarter of an inch off the length. Well, yeah, that, and I also made some adjustments that are going to make the light more functional and also make it easier for assembly on me, so things that are easier on me are good for everybody. Visually, the light looks about the same. I didn't change much about that, but where we gained that quarter of an inch, or lost it rather, is by doing this. The biggest reason for that, aside from making the light shorter, is so that the driver could have a ring that holds it in rather than a blob of solder or a pressed fit or something like that. I just think it's the most dependable way to do it, and so that's why I wanted to do that. It also gives the light a better lockout. There's plenty of room here to open this up and still have coverage over the O-ring, and the other one would do that at the length it was at if I cut the tail spring, but this way we get to keep the whole length and strength of the tail spring and also have a reliable lockout without adding any length to the light. As you can see, I also chose a pocket clip, and I chose this one because I like the contrast of the stainless steel, and it's a USA-made clip, and it's super robust. I mean, you could hang something three times the size of this light on it with no problem. I got the switch so that it's an easy press without having any cutouts around it. I did my best to make up a, a blueprint or a spec sheet on this and <laughs> I could still use some practice but the guy I'm working with knows that and he's he's nice to me in spite of my shortcomings on paper. Um, I'll have a lead time pretty soon. Typically from this manufacturer it's been like eight weeks. It is a USA manufacturer, but he's just that busy, so his lead times run long because he's that good, and I think it's it's always been worth waiting for what I get from him. Once I hear back from him for the cost of everything, I'll put up another video and the pricing and links to order and everything. I just want to say again how much I really appreciate all of the feedback and support that I've got for this. I wanted to make sure that we really, really had something good here. And I definitely don't think that we would have come up with something this good if I had just tried to do it all on my own. So thank you for that and good lucks.